Hi, Sean Higgins here, and I want to apologize to the YouTube gods and you. I know I was out last week, wasn't able to put out a video. That's my bad. But I'm really excited about being back just because I've got some really cool stuff to talk about. Stick around to the very end, and I've got a nice little uh, corporate bonus for you. Okay, so stick around to the end. So what I want to talk about is overage and the cash that's left over on the deal. Now, this is kind of a hard concept for people to wrap their head around. So I need you to keep up with me on this. Um, and unfortunately, I'm just holding the camera because while I was gone, the studio has been torn apart and we're putting it back together, but there you go. So what is overage? Uh, let's say that I've got a $200,000 property and the opening bid is uh, $10,000. Let's we'll just use that for an example. And let's say I bid it up to 40. We're gonna keep the numbers really easy. Um, that means there's $30,000 in overage. That means that that is over the, the opening bid, which was $10,000 in this case. So if that means it's overage, whose money is that? Well, it's not the bidder's money, mine, kind of. It's the former property owner's. Now here's the problem, is a former property owner probably doesn't know that's there. So there's two things we can do, okay? If you know the rules in that local market, you can contact the former property owner, the one you bought the house from, from the county, and let them know and help them fill out the paperwork. You know, that's one way to do it, but if the county could have got a hold of them, they would have done it themselves. So it's kind of sticky that way, but that's the first choice. The second choice is, let's say it's in a redeemable um, deed state, say like Georgia or Texas or, or Tennessee or something like that, and you can get a hold of the property owner. A way I have done it very successfully is getting a hold of the property owner and saying, look, are you gonna redeem? I mean, if they didn't redeem at 10 grand, what makes you think they're gonna redeem at $40,000 plus 20%? No, I'm not, okay. How about if I give you $20,000 to quit claim the property over to me and what they can do is they can assign the um, overage to you. So again, it's all about language. Now, technically it's theirs, but they would have to fill out the paperwork and they can wait for it, which can take six to nine months or you give them $20,000 cash, they sign it over to you and you get it later. Well, Sean, there's $30,000. Well, yeah, you kind of knew what was going on. You have a lot of paperwork. There's attorney's fees involved in that. So it's kind of a wash. But here's the cool thing. That $20,000 technically just comes out of the county and goes over there. Here's what it saves though. A lot of aggravation for everybody involved. Property owner gets some cash in their pocket really quickly. You get title of the property. You don't have to go through a barman if it's in Georgia. Uh, there's all sorts of things that you avoid on a legal standpoint for this. So this helps a lot of different situations, okay? So think about overage, all sorts of information out there on that. I've got this right here. And there's laws are different in every state, so be careful with that. Now, my little bonus here, okay? If you would like to have a free LLC set up in either Wyoming or Delaware or Nevada, um, I will have that set up for you. I've got a company that I'm working with and as a gift to you, they will help you set that whole thing up. If you're interested in that and you need an LLC, um, click the link down below. I'll put it uh, inside the description in there and make a comment in the comment section that says, Nanu Nanu, I love Mark and Mindy. You're gonna have to repeat that is Nanu Nanu, I love Mork and Mindy. That's the secret code to get a free LLC. This is Sean Higgins saying, I apologize for being late, but better late than never. God bless.